it's time for song number three. Song number three, Behind the Songs Season 2. Today, we're going to talk to you about Ringtone. Yes. This one, I, I didn't really want to write about relationships on this album. This is the only one that was involved with a relationship, but no worries about it because it's totally twisted. That's life. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's the thing about music is you gotta write about your experiences and things that you notice and just like, it's kind of about who you are too, so yeah, it, it comes out eventually or, we, you, or it could not, who knows. Yeah. You kind of like conceptualize things. Anyways. We started Ringtone quite early. Like if I remember correctly, yeah. we might have had some of the ideas for Ringtone before Altered States was finished, the, I think. The point was to make something that had like this driving rock kind of thing going on. Mm -hmm. I think that theme carried into a few more songs, which was cool. And we, we do more rock and roll stuff now, I think. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I, I think so too. I think it was a nice little indicator of maybe the direction that we felt we were kind of going, and it's one that like we picked up with our new drummer Colton quite, you know, like that's one of the first ones we did with him anyway. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so the lyrics are kind of about going crazy because of this relationship, but uh, the music is what I really like about it. Yeah. No, it's so fun. It's so it's, fun. It's really fun to play, and the like the hook. The, mm -hmm. the musical hook in the, the chorus. Da, 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 da. Really good. Yeah. Super catchy. And then I kind of took that and wrote the guitar solo based on it. Mm -hmm. So it was really melodic guitar solo. I think it's one of the better ones I've ever done. Yeah, I agree. And I'm definitely really proud of it because I wrote it in the studio. Kind of yes. Like, not really knowing how it was going to come out, but I was confident I'd come up with something. Yeah. If you watch our documentary about making the album, then there's, there's a different version of the solo that you can hear, but yeah. the one that we landed on. We redid the next day and we're just like, okay, how can we just really perfect this solo? And that was really just you just working and working and working at it and just trying to make it like perfect, yeah. basically. I, don't know, I probably took like 10 takes of it, 10 different yeah. solos, improvised, and then just narrowed in more to the what I wanted it to be. Yeah. No, it's not a quick overnight process, you know, like getting the best out of each of these songs take definitely takes some dedication and work and stuff like that. And yeah, this one. It had the longest, uh, you know, time from like the original like, idea to when it was released. Probably the longest amount of time, but I'm I'm super stoked on the the final version of it. We traded off um, who was singing what part of the song a lot too. Like if early demos of that like yeah. were singing in different places, it then we just, ended up. It was too much for one person to sing it because of the way that it was written. So it was, it was just like you're always gasping for breath. We didn't yeah. want to do that if we were going to play live, which we do very well. I guess, once we can play on stages again. Yes. Fingers crossed on that. So. Uh, <laughs> anyways. But, um... That's yeah. how it turned out. I, I like doing that. I like switching between some vocal parts, you know, get, building up my confidence as a singer, which makes me a better background singer for songs that you write. And yeah. then I can write more songs that are different. Yeah. Which we'll get to later. Yeah, and just keeping the collaborative spirit alive, right? So, yeah, this one, I think, in the end, it really was... Well, I'm, the lyrics were pretty much you on this one, but like the music was kind of a 50-50 between us. But I think the lyrics were all you. Yeah. I mean, you wrote like the connecting pieces, definitely. Yeah. And so, and that's what Taylor and I do a lot nowadays, right? Is like one of us will have an idea and then the other help us finish it. And it's... Um, well, that's what being a band is about. Yeah. Right? That's how you create music as a band. Just write it together <laughs> as yeah. much as possible. Help each other out. Yeah. I mean, like sometimes I write an entire song and it's just good and it fits with our band and same with Michael. So mm -hmm. that yeah. works too. I don't know what we're thinking. Yeah. Well, and, and just, yeah, and kind of going back to how like how fun it was to get done, that's kind of what we just hope to capture with the music video, because unlike our other videos where we staged stuff after, when you're watching the video, that's actually us recording the parts for the song in the studio, which we thought was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, authentic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, ringtone. Hope you love it. Hope you enjoy it. We were happy to have that one out as a single. Um, yeah. So subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these. We've got a new one coming for you next week. And in the meantime, have a fun life. Check out a CD of ours if you'd like. These are so, so, so cool. This is the first uh, album we've ever actually made proper CDs for. And uh, yeah, awesome. Have a great day, guys. Take yeah. care. Stay safe. I love you. Goodbye. My love will never go away.